<laughs> Wait, what? Oh yeah, she's a thing, that's right. Oh god, I forgot about that. Would you like to continue? No, no game, I wouldn't. Hi, everyone. Uh, how are you? Uh, you might not be great after this. <laughs> okay, listen, I wasn't actually planning to play this so soon after Devil May Cry. I was going to give Devil May Cry a little more time to digest, you know? Um, but this is, this is something that's just kind of been hovering over me like a dark cloud of boredom that I can't ignore. <laughs> so <laughs> I thought, you know what? Let's go ahead and do it. I'd rather get it out of the way sooner rather than later. This game is a mess. It is an absolute mess. I very much dislike it. I have played worse, but boy, this... Oh, I'm sorry, game. Did I wait too long on the, the main menu? My apologies. I guess I'm on your time. Uh, we'll get into why this game is, at least in part, the way it is. We'll let this opening cinematic thing happen, though. Enjoy! In a time long since past. In an age of darkness. When the earth was overrun with demons. It's moved us. And humans were powerless under their rule. Humanity's hope lived in a demon named Sparta. With a spirit unlike any other. And wielding the sword that bore his own name. Sparta eradicated the demons. She's like some blood rain ripoff, isn't she? I mean, she like even has the knives. And now, the legend of Sparta has been inherited by his son. Oh boy. Oh, I hate it. Hi, Dante. Find a penny, pick it up. All day long, you'll have good luck. Hi, random woman. With a horrible outfit. What are you wearing, Lucia? Your stupid frosted lipstick. My god. You called? What, can you summon Dante with a coin? Till next time, son of Sparta. Oh, Dante looks as flummoxed as I am. Like, okay, so she summoned him and then just left? Mission one. Toward the north, the hunter of dark blood will realize his destiny. Guidepost for the hunters. Chapter one. Clause three. Y'all are trying to make this game out to be something. It is not. Okay, so really quick, the whole Lucia thing. Apparently, some dipsticks that play Devil May Cry were pissed off that you couldn't play Trish. So instead of bringing Trish back in this game, they created this whole new ass character, Lucia, that you can play as. And I'm like, why didn't you just bring back Trish and make her playable? Like, no, it makes no sense to me. None. And she's terrible and you never hear from her again. Like there's, <laughs> she's the most pointless character ever. Something really quick also. And this is the, one of the most ridiculous things I found out about this game. There is absolutely no point in you using your sword. You, I am not kidding, can hold down your right trigger button and just shoot everything. Your sword does not have to come into play. And it's not even like you constantly press down on your trigger button and shoot the gun. No, hold down your right trigger button and you're golden. Your guns will take care of everything. They, I think they have like an automatic lock on the closest enemy. So, 
there really is no gameplay to be had in this game. And here's the thing. Listen, if Devil May Cry and all the subsequent games, I'm speaking of 3, 4, and 5, aren't your cup of tea. They're not your type of games. You're not really into action hack and slash games. That's fine. But I think maybe after this video or if you've seen other people play it, I think we can at least all agree that Devil May Cry 1, 3, 4, and 5 had some pizzazz. It had some flair. They were fun. Dante was goofy and just a, an absolute dork, right? He was a lovable dork. It, they had style, shall we say. This game just completely lacks any of that. You'll notice in this game that Dante's not his kind of like carefree, goofy self that you know, he kind of showed himself to be in Devil May Cry, and that's because some dipstick unnamed producer didn't like that kind of wisecracking attitude he had in Devil May Cry. So he's like, we're not doing that. Make him more taciturn, make him more, I would say, boring, more serious. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't have a problem with this design of Dante. It's not a bad design, I guess. But it's it's not Dante. And thank God they had the foresight going into 3, 4, and 5 of bringing back that kind of goofy personality, right? I, I mean, I... Listen. I guess the enemy design like this, that's not like a horrible looking enemy. It's kind of interesting. I mean, guns. Guns all the way. Just blast them. Your guns automatically juggle them. Look at the style rankings. Don't worry. Come on. Are you ready? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm so not ready. Um, now, like I said, you can just hold down your right trigger and your guns will just automatically fire. If you do kind of pull on the trigger button, I think your guns do, it does look like um, they do fire a little bit faster. Um, and, and something else, there's gonna be a lot of brown and beige in this first half of the game. Um, just really boring environments. I mean, this is clearly a village, and there's there's no light. There's nothing happening. And while you can say the same thing about Devil May Cry, like that was a castle off on an island by itself. Like there was there was a reason for that. I, I, there's really no reason. I mean, it's literally, we're walking around an abandoned Italian village here, which I don't even know where we're supposed to be. You automatically have double jump right at the beginning of the game. You automatically have stinger. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, at the end of Devil May Cry, I kind of was like, I don't know if I'm actually going to try and play the entirety of Devil May Cry 2 or just play it for as long as my sanity can hold out. <laughs> uh, I'm going with the latter. I'm going until I break. So I, I, can't, I can't tell you how long that'll be. We still have like the fixed cameras too. It's it's not a bad I guess air hike. It's, it's not a bad jump, but the thing is, 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 is in Devil May Cry, like, you had to work 
to get air hike, right? I can't even remember how many orbs it cost. Is it 14,000? So, it, it required you to play the game. It required you to go around and kind of grind to an extent, but more importantly than that, explore your environment, right? Air hike is kind of an essential, um, uh, what the hell was that? What was that little bouncy move there, Dante? Um, in order to get air hike, it, it kind of was like, yeah, no, go around, fight, explore, look at the environments. And this is just, just, you, you have it. There's really no... Oh, damn it. I was trying to avoid the yellow orb. I know I'm using the sword, and I said there's really no point in using it, but I figure... You know what, it's there. Let's, let's break it out. I mean, they can't even jump up. They can't even get up here. We could be here for eternity. Where, where did he go? Oh. Oh my god, we did it. Thank god. I don't know what I would have done if one of them killed me. <gasps> no! It healed me! Damn it! I don't know if you can tell, but I'm not looking forward to this. <laughs> Okay, wait, how do I get... What, how do I... Oh, it's, oh, it's a circle. I mean, I don't want the power. Look at this! Even this is boring. Oh, shucks, I don't have enough orbs. Oh. So sad. Ebony and Ivory, I cannot upgrade. I'm sorry, what? Smell of fear. This will allow you to avoid enemy attacks up to three times. There is a potion called smell of fear. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so as I'm fighting, whatever this is going to end up being, let's let's kind of at least start the conversation as, as to why the game is, again, at least in part the way it is. All right, so Team Little Devil is, was, a group within Capcom Production Studio 4. It was led by Hariaki Kamiya. That team, Team Little Devils, was responsible for the development of Devil May Cry. Right? Okay, so when the Devil May Cry sequel, Devil May Cry 2, was greenlit, Team Devil was placed in charge of making Devil May Cry 2. Now, a, a big problem I guess nobody thought of or cared about was... Team Devil weren't really well versed on how to make 3D action games. <laughs> on top of the fact that not only were they put in charge of developing Devil May Cry 2, but they were working on several other games at the same time. I... Like, I don't get it. Why would you do that? I'm sorry, these enemies are just so horrible looking. And the style rankings are terrible. I mean, what? How would you? How would you pronounce like Misera, Miss Ira? Oh 
Oh my god. Okay, so... So, Team Devil was put in charge of Devil May Cry 2. They really were out of their depth in the development of this type of game. They were working on other things. At the same time, the director at the beginning of was somebody named Noritaka Funamizu. This, this is this is where I think uh, big time problems arose, right? Okay, so the directors changed, ended up changing, I think probably more than halfway through the development process. Okay, so it went from Funamizu to a director called Hariaki Utsuno. Okay, so Utsuno was brought in to reorganize the entire project of Devil May Cry 2. And I think at the time he was brought in, the team had about six months to finish the game. <laughs> and the reason Itsunu was brought in, and, and he's even on record as saying, well, first of all, he's, he said that people were not happy with him replacing Funamizu. And the higher-ups told him he was being brought in because nothing was getting done on the project. Now, I don't know what that means exactly. Like, I don't know if like they were just sitting around do like literally doing nothing or it was, hey, we're kind of out of our depth because we've never made a game like this before. So we're kind of having to learn as we go. But regardless, higher ups are saying nothing was getting done and they needed to change. So they're like, well, we'll just change the director. Right? I, with six months left in development. I mean, can you even imagine? Like, I'm frustrated by it. Okay, so by the time Yitsuna came in, cutscenes had not been shot. Nobody knew what or how to implement Dante's Devil Trigger. I think Stinger was the only attack that had been decided on as far as Dante's attacks as a whole. Nobody knew what else should be a part of his arsenal. I mean, like, fundamental stuff. Oh my god. Well, that happened. <laughs> Let's just stand and stare at it. Oh my god, I got a B ranking. So, Capcom and all its infinite wisdom was like, hey, we want a September 2002 release. And in July of 2002, I think like only 65% of the game was, was done. 65% of the game. And they wanted a September release. So, like I said, that, at least in part, can explain why this game is the way it is. Oh my god, look at this little garden gnome. It sure took him a while to find this place. Oh, you have arrived, son of Sparta. You knew him? Oh, yes. We are the guardians of this land, Vidumali. Our clan once fought against the demons with Sparta, son of Sparta. We must ask this favor of you. You see, there's a man who's transformed our land into a demon's paradise. His name is Arius. And although he is the president of an international public corporation, he uses the demon power. Please, deal with Arius and his master for us. Looks like it's your lucky day. Apparently Dante's Harvey Dent. I am very pleased. It leads to a harbor. If you are successful, I will tell you a story about your father, son of Sparta. Oh boy, mission two. The aerial heart will give the hunter the chance to reach the skies. Guidepost for the hunters, chapter one, clause eight. <sighs> I don't think I can upgrade. I mean, like, how can you even care? 
So, apparently we have evil CEO guy. I think, I think evil CEO guy is trying to summon forth some, like, big time demon. Um, that, that's about all I know. That's about all I care to know. A guard that protects the silence of the underground tomb. You must defeat it. Okay, how? Uh. I. Okay, how do. How do I get through? I have played this, I never finished it. I probably got about like 80% through the game. Oh my god, you just gotta hit it like repeatedly. I'm sorry, Dante's run looks really funny to me. Oh look, another wall we can hit. Five, six, seven. You have to hit it seven times. I, something else, I think when they like did promotional stuff, like Dante was shown with Alistair. I, it's been a while since I played this game. I don't even remember if you get Alistair. That's it. That's it. That's the fight. I mean, I, there's just, there really is nothing to say about this game. There's nothing to write home about. Oh no. More Ag... Agon of Innis. Like I said, I mean, they're not like a horrible enemy design. And like, I, one of the things though, poor little Utsuno, um, <laughs> he was like, after this, I think it was like after this came out, he like really petitioned Capcom to put him in charge of Devil May Cry 3. Like at the beginning, he's like, I, I don't want to ever come in on another project in the middle of it ever again. <laughs> But he was like, put me in charge of Devil May Cry 3 at the beginning. I cannot have Devil May Cry 2 <laughs> as part of my legacy. And the thing is, it's like, when they brought Utsuno in, I think they were like, you know, you'll be like a... It, you won't be named in the credits. And Utsuno is the only director that is credited <laughs> with this game. Like, Funamizu is, is nowhere to be found in the credits. So, I, yeah. I just it's uh, just it's just a mess I can't remember I, I don't I don't know enough about the series I'm not really sure when Shinju Mikami came into play it might have been three I'm not sure um oh no lava bats that are easily dispatched with oh my god. <laughs> I mean, it's it's like I said, like hack and slash games are pretty straightforward. It's it's a very kind of in my mind, kind of a no fuss, no muss type of game. But I think there's a, a stylish way to do them, and this just completely lacks that style. Like there's there's elements of fun you can you can add to it. This game is just so completely lacking in fun in my mind. Oh god, please don't increase my health bar. Yeah, Dante's run looks funny to me. Okay, but there's very little I remember. I remember infected tanks and infected helicopters and I have no idea if we'll get to that point. I'm kind of thinking no. I don't even know if we'll make it to the city. I just, I don't, I wasn't even paying attention to what that said. Something about blue flames. Like how can you even care? Am I supposed to, 
knock all of these out. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I just know I can break these things. Oh my god, what? Oh, the flames around the door are turning blue. So I've got to hit... You've got to hit these stupid things until all the flames back there turn blue. Oh my god. Dante's got some swishy hips. Look at him sashaying. Okay, so I guess I need to do something about that ghost door over there. Oh look, it's more walls to hit. <laughs> Thank God we just automatically have Stinger. Well, shit. Oh, look, a new savage golem. Oh. <laughs> Ebony and Ivory just turned into like an Uzi. Oh, wait, what's down here? Oh my god, what pyromancers? Shut up. Oh, cool. oh. oh, dude, it like. <sighs> like, you're kind of stun locked for a minute. Which, considering how easy those guys are to kill, that's not really that big of a deal. Oh, my God. No, Dante. My God. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. I'm sure there are people who like this game, and that's perfectly fine. I am literally a nobody on YouTube, right? I, I had the means and the desire to make a YouTube channel. I am no authority on video games whatsoever. I know what I like. I know what I enjoy playing. Um, I'm not the most technical person when describing games and why I like them and everything, but... Games are kind of really my only form of entertainment. I don't watch TV. I don't really watch movies. I just... So games are kind of how I pass the time in, in many regards. But the point is, is if you like this game, I'm sitting here bitching about it. Like... Don't ever let anybody, especially some random idiot on YouTube, make you feel bad for liking something. <laughs> like, I mean, it's like I said, I, I've never heard anybody say they love Devil May Cry 2. <laughs> but I'm sure there are those who are like, at the very least, who are like, it's not as bad as everybody says. Um, and like I said, some of the enemies aren't bad designs. I mean, pyromancers are pretty cool, right? The golems, I mean, the golems aren't bad looking either. They're, uh, they're pretty, bingo. I, I cannot handle these style runes. Are you dead? So yeah, if you like the game, you like the game. That is perfectly fine. I am no authority. I am no moral arbiter of what is good and what anybody should like as far as games are concerned. There are pretty there are there are plenty of dumbass games that I like that I'm sure a lot of people are like, I'm sorry, what? That's a horrible game. What are you talking about? So, like, I, I have no room to talk. I 
And you know, I mean, it's, I don't think people realize how big like a nostalgia factor is. Like there are games I like that I'm like, I can absolutely see like they're horrible, they're stupid. Uh, like I have really fond memories of playing, <laughs> what was it called? I think it's Survival Instinct, which was a Walking Dead game where you play as Daryl. It was kind of supposed to show you what Daryl and Merle uh, went through before they joined up with the group. Um, it was the most rudimentary, stupid game. You collected squirrel trophies. I mean, it was so basic, the game. Um, but at the time, it, it was clearly a cash grab. It was clearly a cash grab to, to bank on the popularity of Walking Dead, the TV show, right? Uh, but I was really into Walking Dead at that point in time. And Daryl was like my favorite character. So I was, I just remember getting it and, and sitting in my room, closing the door. It was summer, it was hot. There really wasn't anything else you could do but stay inside in the air conditioning. I'd get my glass of tea, iced tea, close my blinds, turn on my floor fan, and just play that dumbass game and had a blast doing it. But it is a horrible game. <laughs> like, literally, no thought was put into it. Um, but given the fact that I liked Walking Dead so much at the time and it just it does have like that nostalgia factor to me and that's in in a huge part why I liked it so much you know some people who might like this game it might just be for pure nostalgia reasons I kind of wish I still had survival instinct I think it was for the 360, if I'm remembering right. I think I traded it in. Right, I want, I, I want my red orbs. I fought gallantly for those. Tinkerbell! What? Oh my god. <laughs> Aerial heart, magic stone with the heart of a flying demon bird. What is this thing? Step on this plate and your magic power will be recovered. Okay, so do I just like jump up and turn into a demon bird? Okay, you know, let's get up somewhere high. Double jump and whoop! Okay. How do I go down? Oh, you just, you let go. Okay, well. On the wings of an angel, right? C rank! Oh my god. It's it's like coming home. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know how much more I have in me. Mission three. The key to the next journey begins and ends with death. God post for the hunters, chapter two, clause four. Okay. I, like, I don't even know why I'm bothering collecting the orbs since I'm not going to play this game to completion. It's just, it's almost like a compulsion. Like I see them and I'm like, well, they're there for you to pick up. Why wouldn't I pick them up? I'm just dragging this out is what I'm doing by, by picking them up. Oh no. Oh, more of these guys. 
Well, damn, dude. We're all having a bad day. We're all in Devil May Cry 2. <laughs> okay, I guess avoid the flames. That's fine. Are they... Are the flames actually... hurting the skeleton dudes? That'd be awesome. And also, I haven't upgraded my guns. Look how much health they take off. Look how... I just... That, that seems like an awful lot of health. For just these... I got, oh, uh... I don't know why that's like Spider-Man. I don't know why that made me laugh. That was just funny looking. I don't even know where the gate is firmly shut. This gate is controlled somewhere. Okay, I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. Where am I? Let's, do I have a, I have a map? <laughs> Well, with the help of that map, I figured out where I was. That was the worst map. What is this? Oh, yeah. Get ready for this boss. It's horrifying. It's a big monkey. A ranguera? A ring... What is that name? Look at look at this! I'm already like Again, all you have to do is jump and shoot. And the enemy AI, like Like it's like way off point sometimes when it tries to hit you. Like, I'm gonna have to edit this because like I am so sick of shooting. I'm so like my hand is cramping. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got carpal tunnel syndrome, can I? How'd it happen? Well, I played Devil May Cry 2. Enough said. Oh my god. But my heart was in my throat. All that for stupid ass key. I, listen, I picked up the green orb because, I, like I said, I want to give you a, enough of a taste of this game so, like, you could, since I'm not playing the whole thing, so you can at least, like, understand why I'm not playing the whole thing. <laughs> you know, I, I can be kind of an a-hole sometimes. I actually had thought about, like, maybe April Fool's, like, try and, and I know I'm, like, I'm showing my hand here, but... Maybe act like, oh yeah, I'm gonna play this, and the next thing you know is I pick back up with Devil May Cry 2. <laughs> oh, we cleared it, everyone. Look at all those Ds. I don't care. I'm pretty sure I can't upgrade anything. What was, wasn't the sword like, well, I might be able to upgrade the sword, but I'm, there's no point in using the sword. She has many arms, but only one heart, as she waits for the hunter deep in the water. Like, I'm fading fast. I don't, I, I kind of wish I could, I could show you the infected tanks and the infected helicopters because it's just so stupid. I don't know what they're supposed to be infected with. I just want to see if I can get up here. Oh, hey, I did it. Oh. Oh, look, it's you guys. This is why I'm kind of grateful for Capcom kind of doing as well as they have recently. Because this was just a big old yikes. Speaking of Capcom, and this is completely off subject of Devil May Cry, 
Um, Devil May Cry and Resident Evil are two series that I've, I've challenged myself to kind of do the play the entire series. The last Resident Evil game I played was Resident Evil 4. I have not forgotten about 5 uh, before I even finished 4. Are you kidding me? <sighs> before I even finished 4, I bought 5 and I actually tried to install it and play it. It will not start. Apparently there's some kind of file I have to download because it's not... It wasn't created to run on Windows 10 or 11. And I have just been disgustingly and embarrassingly lazy about downloading that file. So I haven't forgotten about RE5. But yeah, like I said, I kind of set up a challenge for myself to play all of the Devil May Cry games and Resident Evil games. I will not be playing DMC though. I, heartbreaking, I'm sure. I just can't. That's not Virgil. That's not Dante to me. Virgil does not walk around with sniper rifles and shooting pregnant women. So <laughs> just that, that's, that's where I'm going to draw the line on that one. Oh, yeah, this is like a timed gate, isn't it? I think you have to go into your devil form. Just these random orbs just sitting around. Oh, I'm locked in. Like, you can't, you can't skip this. Oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna miss it. No! Balls. <sighs> okay, you know what? Let's can we go in here? Oh, we can. Like, yeah, look at this guy in the back. Like, he's just literally just standing there, waiting. I mean, part of me feels bad for dumping on this game because it was just handled so poorly. And they put a team in charge of developing this that was out of their depth from what it, it reads like. And, you know, they brought this poor director in that... I, so, I mean, I, I, I blame it on the heads of Capcom who... who greenlit this and and was like ch yeah we need to change directors in the middle of it. so but it's just ugh. quick heart oh magic st okay so i needed this i guess i mean never mind the fact that dante could probably just fly over that wall that gate wall okay there we go I'm not picking that up. You can sit over there glowing green all you want. I'm not picking you up. Uh, oh my god. Joke. Joke. Uh, whatever. Who, ca who cares? Who cares? Why do I already have half of its health gone? Or, or okay, wait. It's first life bar, it's first health bar. How, how did that happen? 
Okay, I think you can damage these arms to the point that they go away for a while. And then you can get to the main body. I don't know. I think... I'll tell you what, if this thing takes me out, I'm done. I, I'm gonna call it. Oh, I, like, why? Why does he do that? And like I said, I think you can... Yeah, they like disappear for a little while and now you can kind of... Oh no. Am I actually trying to fight this thing? Maybe. Oh no. No! It automatically uses the yellow orb? I don't get a choice? <laughs> oh, it could have ended there. Oh. <laughs> Oh god, this might be it. This might be it. We're done. That's it. That's Devil May Cry 2. Absolutely not. How dare you ask me? We're done. My soul's doomed. It's fine. I accept the L. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry for doing this to you. But <laughs> it's kind of like, if I have to suffer... You all get to suffer with me <laughs> because I'm a giving person. <laughs> but let me know what you think down below. If you do like this game, let me know down below. Like, I, I'm totally open to hearing reasons, right? Um, but yeah, leave a like if you liked it. Um, I, I'm not going to make any promises that I'll never do this to you again. But uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Enjoy your Thursday. It can only go up from here, right? So you all take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.